A new paper is out. It was published in the journal Nature, March 2024. Title, The Persian Plateau served as a hub for Homo sapiens after the main out of Africa dispersal. Abstract, a combination of evidence based on genetic, fossil, and archaeological findings, indicates that Homo sapiens spread out of Africa between 70 to 60,000 years ago. A quick note, in paleoanthropology papers you will often see KYA, that simply means 1,000 years ago. Continuing, it appears that once outside of Africa, human populations did not expand across all of Eurasia until 45,000 years ago. The geographic whereabouts of these early settlers in the time frame between 70,000 to 45,000 years ago has been difficult to reconcile. The authors go on to argue that the Persian Plateau acted as the hub for our species during the early phases of colonization of Eurasia. Further, their models show that the Persian Plateau was suitable for human occupation and that it could sustain a larger population compared to other West Asian regions. From MSN 2024, where did Homo sapiens go after leaving Africa? New study has an answer. Our species emerged in Africa more than 300,000 years ago with a migration out of the continent 60 to 70,000 years ago. Continuing, these bands of hunter-gatherers appear to have lingered for thousands of years as a homogeneous population in a geographic hub. Continuing, that hub spanned Iran, parts of Iraq, northeastern Saudi Arabia, settling all of Europe and Asia by 45,000 years ago. The study's authors suggest that the Persian Plateau population likely split in two, with one group headed to the Far East. Martha Christina, a genetics researcher in South Africa, explains, the ancient northern Eurasians were hunter-gatherers from West Asia who migrated into Central Asia. This would include haplogroups R, Q, P1, and West Asian mtDNA U and R1B. Quick definition. A haplotype is a physical grouping of genomic variants or polymorphisms that tend to be inherited together. Small bands of original hunter-gatherers likely survived in the West. According to Yahoo News, the study authors acknowledged that there were earlier small-scale excursions of Homo sapiens out of Africa before the pivotal migration 60 to 70,000 years ago. Co-author Luca Bagani an expansion occurred sometime earlier than 38,000 years ago and recolonized Europe from the same population hub. In Europe, there were occasional interactions with survivors of the previous wave. This is a key point because total replacement and extinction of early European modern humans is a central tenet of out of Africa theory. It is essential for recent out of Africa advocates that any hint of continuity in Europe be covered up. Pagani, in Europe, there were occasional interactions with survivors of the previous wave, an extensive and generalized admixture between the two waves. In Europa ci sono state interazioni occasionali con i sopravvissuti dell'andata precedente, una mescalanza estesa e generalizzata tra le due andate. Further, Pagani is quoted, quote, cave art simultaneously 
appeared as soon as people left the hub, end quote. That would confirm recent archaeological finds from Cro-Magnon and Gravetians in France. Neanderthals went extinct at precisely this time, 38,000 years ago. Quote, it is curious to note that around the same time, also the last Neanderthals went extinct, end quote, says Giulia Marciani de la Università de Bologna. There are three hugely important sites for Upper Paleolithic Early European Modern Humans. Bako Kiro in Bulgaria, Zlatikun in the Czech Republic, and Oase in Romania. Quote, the initial Upper Paleolithic of Bako Kiro Cave adds to other sites in Western Eurasia where there is an even older presence of Homo sapiens. End quote. Nikolai Sirakov of the National Institute of Archaeology in Bulgaria. The Slate Kun female discovered in a cave in the Czech Republic is estimated to be from 43,000 years ago. The specimens from Romania, Oase 1 and Oase 2, are dated 42,000 years ago and 37,000 years ago. From the recovered DNA, it is estimated that these individuals had up to 9% Neanderthal admixture. Into Western Eurasia confirmed. From another study in 2019, Johannes Krauss, we find high genetic continuity, 80 to 90 percent between the hunter-gatherers and early farmers of Anatolia and detect two distinct incoming ancestries, an early Iranian Caucasus related one and one from the Levant. Also in 2019, Katarina Harvati and Chris Stringer redated the Epitome One skull from Greece to 210,000 years ago. Early Homo sapien migrations out of Africa are now confirmed to at least that date. These studies combined with the new study on the Persian Plateau give a clear picture of the more recent out of Africa population migrating to Central Europe. Once in Central Europe, these populations mixed with Cro-Magnon and continued into the far west. The fossil record and the genetics research are beginning to confirm 200,000 possibly as much as 300,000 years of separate origins of Europeans from the Africans. From MSN, anthropologist and study co-author Michael Patagria, director of the Australian Research Center for Human Evolution, said the study, quote, is a story about us and our history. Our goal was to unravel some of the mystery about our evolution and our worldwide dispersal." End quote. Paglia and his colleagues seem to have just provided even greater evidence for separate origins for Europeans. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe, and please pass this video on to others. See you soon.